And welcome back to the show. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis High School offers a variety of programs to its students, which include international business studies, accounting, drama, dancing, and much more. And recently, one of their teachers passed away and they're holding a tribute show on Saturday, May the 14th. We're pleased to have sharing with us retired dance coordinator and educator at Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis High School, Vivian Ullman. And uh, Vivian, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. And as I mentioned uh, in the outset of our leading into the segment that uh, it's a very special time as you are paying tribute to one of your teachers who is now deceased and for your staff as well as the students, an opportunity to honor their legacy. Yes, um, so Kimberly was a student at JKO, actually a part of the first graduating class. And from the beginning, I noticed a amazing gift and talent for her artistry in choreographing. And so um, as a teacher and somebody who was nurtured in my own dance background, felt it um, important for me to nurture this gift that I felt that she had. And so when she graduated, even when she was at JKO, she choreographed on the students. She choreographed when she was choreographing. I noticed she would say, okay, everybody come up with eight counts. Once the eight counts, she said, okay, one, two, three, four. Each one went and then she came back to exactly them all sinking in together. And when they would start doing it, if they weren't right on cue, stop, we're going from the beginning. And that was a sign, here is a gift. Here is a gift that you need to nurture. And so I did. When she graduated, she went to FIT. I had her come back numerous times to choreograph on the students, which they loved loved having her, loved her meticulousness, and actually created a dance troupe based on all JKO students. They actually performed at the World Trade Center before 9-11 and numerous other places. And as an outcome of this, from coming back so much, she once said to me, who am I kidding? I got to do this. What, what, what else is there in my career but to become a teacher? Will you write a recommendation for NYU for me? I said, okay, here we go. Don't ever ask me if I will. Just tell me who, <laughs> when, and where. And there was the beginning of her impact and her legacy of what she went on to do. And just telling the story, I mean, obviously, uh, I'm laughing because I could see the impact that she's had on you, the impact that she's had on students. How rare is that to have somebody that makes such a, a great impact on, on, on a community like this? Uh, it, you know, it is rare, but I think it's so important for that to exist because um, she felt what was given to her and knew this was something she had to pursue. And so she, uh, did that with a with a uh, joy and also I know when she taught at Beacon High School she was that same nurturing person to her students in trying to impact their future she um lived life unfortunately died way too early but she lived life doing what she loved more than anything and I I think that was such an important aspect for her to pass on, and she did. So when we look right now, obviously you've got Kimberly's impact on students, Kimberly's impact on staff, and it's tied to the arts. And when we talk about the arts, the arts is something that sometimes we don't really lift up in schools. As a matter of fact, it's one of the first things that get cut out of the school budget. But talk to us about the impact of arts on students. Uh, it's it's huge. Um, I, I've always been a believer that we are trying to develop the whole person from the child to the adult. And part of that includes the arts. It's not subject, subject, subject. It's how they connect. I would always tell my students, 
dance is actually the last thing, the steps that I'm teaching you. How to be a community when you're dancing, you're a community. When you're creating, you're a community. Your, um, your creativity is huge in, in critical thinking in your life. Being diverse in knowing culture, being acceptance of all different cultures is what certainly New York is about and what our world is about. So I think it is a huge importance for, uh, for education to developing um, young people that are community oriented, creative, and have self-confidence. When we talk about self-confidence, it's something that comes, right? And it's something that's built and developed as children begin to participate in arts and education. Um, and as we talked about arts and education and the need for it to be funded, talk to me from your perspective about what it's meant for you to be able to teach and also to be able to share the impact that it has on students that resonates not just for their educational career, but really for the rest of their lives. Yes, um, I was extremely lucky. I danced with a small uh, June Lewis and Company dance company. And through that company, we did lecture dems around the city. Somebody approached my director if she knew somebody who was interested in teaching um, in the public school. She immediately thought for some reason she knew something in me that I didn't know in myself, um, that I would be great for this opportunity. She mentioned public school, high school. I said, you got the wrong one. And I, she hounded me. This is for you. You need to do it. Best thing she ever made me do because I felt it's so important for students to be nurtured and to have that community in school. Always the first thing to be cut, always the most important thing to be funded. Uh, really, really important that students can feel um, their creativity and be able to in lives. And I know from being connected after they graduated from some of my, with some of my students who were not so easy when they were in high school, but I still knew they may not be hearing you now. At some point, they will hear the importance of this. And I can't say how often I get, Miss, I so apologize for being a nightmare to you. Thank you for not giving up on me. You have been a mentor and an inspiration in my life. One is a teacher in Egypt. She is uh, now, uh, so there is all of that. Another student who is performing at the tribute is a dancer, has his own small company. Kim went on to teach at NYU at Beacon. And her last was a full-time um, faculty member teaching dance education at Rutgers. So there are some of the, the, the thoughts of what education can be. The more diverse instead of subject that we give our students, the more it opens their eyes, especially in this world today, the potentials that are out there for them to enjoy doing. What's it like for you? I mean, hearing a student come back and say, listen, I gave you a problem in class, but yet and still to see them now become fruitful to be forward in their career. And now looking back and saying, this was a very instrumental part. Uh, I'm sure while they're giving you uh, all the fever while class is going on, it's not too pleasant. But now that it's all over with and they're able to look back and you're able to look back, what's that mean to you? Uh, it, is, uh, um, it is the most joyous, um, joyous thing that I could, I could say. There is no greater joy to see some of my former students and see the amazing adults that they have become. Kosi is, is, is one of those as well. All of these alum who have embraced um, this tribute and honoring, you know, messaging me, please let me know, Ms. Ullman, anything that I can do to contribute to this. Uh, you know, there is nothing better than knowing that you you help be a part of making their futures um, so important and knowing the impact of giving in life, because there is no greater joy in life than giving. There, there is no price tag on that, and there is no 
there is no greater wealth than you can get than that. Well, I want to thank you, Vivian Ullman, for coming and sharing with us. Uh, retired dance coordinator and educator at Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis High School. And uh, thank you so much for being with us and best wishes as you have your tribute concert for Kimberly Elliott. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just want to say I'm kind of retired. I still actually mentor new dance teachers in their first and second year to help them have the positive experience that I had, as well as still doing field supervision for Hunter when teachers are about to get uh, certified. Well, Vivian, we know the old saying, once retired, never retired. So we congratulate you <laughs> on still being out there doing the great work and impacting so many people's lives through arts as well. And we want to let our viewers know, if you do want more information, go ahead. You can find out more uh, by visiting Eventbrite and then search Tribute Concert for Kimberly Elliott. Uh, we encourage you also, don't go anywhere. We've got more open coming up right after this.